everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're reacting to Tarnished Legacy. So we're down to the final three videos. And this is the first out of the three. So let's get started. Apparently, from what I've heard, this is supposed to be the beginning of this whole Phil Bogiston guy. So let's get started. And I'm going to skip the intro because I don't want to get copyright claim. Oh, here we go. From before the First World War. How this railway has gone bust yet really baffles me. I mean... That incident with the boulder could have easily destroyed a whole town How and killed many that? people. Who is but this guy? even mentioning this incident is so ridiculous. A boulder running loose on the island like Indiana Jones? Just preposterous. Well, how would you run the railway different if you were in charge? Yeah. If I discuss every change I made, we'd be here until Christmas. Nah. But basically, modernize the railway and get rid of the steam engines. What? And then fix this railway's awful safety record once and for all. I tell you, it won't be long until someone is actually killed on this line. Ugh, I really I do don't like, like him! Man. Who is he? That is Otto Grubb. Okay. He's an advocate for transportation safety okay. and one of my biggest enemies. He would thoroughly enjoy to take this railway down. Of course he Over would. Over my dead body, he will. You've done a fantastic job in my footsteps, son. Wait a minute, what? Oh, please. He's right about the safety record. Rubbish. Mm. That old boulder thing wasn't your fault. Yeah. At least it wasn't you who disturbed it. Yeah. Like I did. I hope we can repair our image before it's too late. I'd hate to disgrace the hot name. Why would you do that? Both your grandfather and great grandfather. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's cool. That's from the of the original series. Ah, I can't help but freak out. Very proud of you. You're a very clever man. Yeah. Despite all the troubles, you've always managed. He's done to get very well with the railway. It. And that is a true trait of the fat controller. Yeah. All right, we're, what is this? Is this an intro? Okay, we're gonna skip the intro because I don't want a copyright claim on my YouTube channel. So here we go. It's quite a remarkable place. Look there how are engines of all accidents. kinds that work here. Anyways. Big engines. Small engines. Red engines. Blue engines. The list goes on. Despite what some engineers say, each railway plays an important part to life on the island. Come on! Where is that big blue bonehead? Hey, don't call him a bonehead! He may be late, but he's not a bonehead! About time! What kept you? It wasn't my fault. A cow was on the line, and we had to wait for it to okay. be shooed away. Yeah. So much for being right on time. I wasn't late. I was delayed. Uh-oh. Do you hear that? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, no! Trouble. Him? Trouble? You think I'm trouble? Talk about pot calling the kettle black. You steam engines are much more trouble than anything about me. You put this railway's reputation on the line according to Otto Grubb. Well, then that makes you completely lose your credibility yeah. if you believe what Otto Grubb says. Yeah, Otto Grubb is not right. His head is full of so much rubbish it might explode. You can deny it all you want, but I see change on the horizon, and it's not good at all. So Top of Hex days as controller of this railway are numbered. Wait, uh, wait, are they going to get rid of him? Wait, 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 are they going to get rid of him? Are they seriously going to get rid of him? I hope not. What, I, I hope they don't. We may have had a few accidents here and there, but when was the last time we had a fatality? That's true. I honestly don't remember. I do remember some incident with a ditch, though. Oh, well, shit. Okay, yeah, the ditch. I remember that. I haven't that. had an accident in years. Mm. Well, no, actually, wait. I crashed into Tidmouth last year. Yeah. So, oh, ha! What I meant to say is that I rarely have accidents. Sure. sure. Keep telling yourself that, Gordon. Am I the only one that thinks there's something odd about all these accidents? Or is it just me? I don't know. Hello, Chuck. How's it going? Pretty good, sir. Everything's running on schedule and the passengers are all happy. Excellent. Okay. Let's show Otto Grubb the true way to run a railway. 
Yeah! Oh, don't pay attention to that bastard. Him, don't Sorry. Him. He's just looking for every minor out. fault so we can come up with a bogus story. Yeah. He won't win. Oh, are we ready? All right. Let's hope nothing else happens. Honestly, that would just give this auto grub guy a chance to boots their top and hat out. Where's that freight headed? Wellsworth. Thankfully, this like line it. of trucks are well behaved. That's because all of us have taught them well, haven't we, Toad? Quite Toad. right, Mr. Oliver. I like Toad. I like Toad. He's cute. Toad is a cutie. He's a cutie for duty. Right, here's the 1010 service. Ooh. So far, everything's running smoothly. Uh oh. I don't like that music. I don't like that music. Every time that music happens, something goes wrong. Wait a minute. Shouldn't, shouldn't the switch be red? He's going onto the line. Gordon is! No! Stop! I Holy crap! Get an ambulance! I, I'm so sorry. I must have been sent on the wrong line and what I've been stopped. What the heck? Why did single man change the switch? Us. There's lots of injuries. What the hell was the single man doing? Yeah! Wait, what was he doing? This is gonna give auto, this auto grub guy another chance to boots on top of us. Oh Lord, have mercy! What happened? It wasn't my fault, sir. I was switched on to the wrong line and I couldn't what stop. Of course it wasn't your fault. No, this isn't Doug's fault. What was the signal man doing? According to the signal man, the points were jammed, so he what? had to put the red signal. This engine must not have seen it. Okay, I'm starting to think that these accidents aren't accidents. I'm still going with my theory that someone's trying to sabotage him because now that I'm hearing about this auto grub guy, Wanting to boot Sir Topham Hat, change the railway. What if he's the one doing it? I mean, hello? I'm starting to think this is all sabotage. There was no red signal, I assure you, sir. Yeah, no, there was no red signal. Doc is usually a very careful engine. Yeah. So I find it very unlikely that he would be distracted. Yeah. Maybe the signal didn't work. I have some rather bad news. What? It appears one of the passengers injured happens to be the one and only Otto Grubb. No! Oh, damn. Oh, no! Damn! God damn! Never mind that. This is bad! I've got some even worse news, sir. What could be worse than that? It's the guard on board the express. What about him? Chuck's his name? Chuck? Is he all right? Is he okay? I'm afraid not, sir. He's dead. What? How? Not Chuck. Okay. Train collisions, yes. People getting injured. But there's no way he could have died from that. This is... Why do I feel like Auto Grub is up to something? It's gotta be Auto Grub. There's no other explanation. He was on the train. What if he was setting up some sort of sabotage? The hat's legacy could on the line, oh, no. advocate for transport safety Otto Grubb, who happened to be a passenger on that exact train, is planning to sue the Northwestern what? Railway for negligence. There have been a string of incidents on the railway, with the last what one resulting in the death of a guard. Many are starting to question whether the railway is in good hands. What utter rubbish. Yeah. Accidents happen, and this was just an unfortunate combination of events. I'm starting to think these it's aren't good unfortunate thing events. Chuck doesn't have a family to go home to. That would be awful. I'm worried though, and you all should be too. If the courts rule in Grubb's favor, then the fat controller could be booted out. And then all if the engines would happen, get destroyed. Us engines would not stand for it. We'd all go on strike. It wouldn't matter anyway. Yeah. They'd probably scrap us and replace us with modern engines. Please. Our fate is tied to that of Sir Topham Hatt. Has anyone seen him since the accident? I haven't. He's probably rightfully... I don't even know if I want to keep going. I don't know if I want to keep going. I mean... 
They can't get rid of Sir Topham Hatt. They can't. Tiana, remember Sorry, guys, to add the any tests you did the, today that were again. not listed. You know what? Give me a second. I'm gonna. I thought I turned off notifications. Bear with me. All right, I'm back. I figured out how, what was wrong, so I managed to turn the alarm setting off. Anyways, they seriously can't get rid of him. Are they gonna get rid of him? Because if that's the case, all the other engines are gonna get scrapped. I swear, the Auto Grub planned this somehow. I know he did. Being careful about outgoing He's out in got public, to have. Avoiding the media. <laughs> We've made a decision, Popper. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait and see the results of the trial. Oh, if you're found not liable, then you shall keep your position. Okay. But if you are, I'm afraid we may have no choice but to ask you to step down. What? I know you're a loyal and hard-working businessman, but the fact is passenger numbers are down and we are losing money. I understand. They can't get rid of him! They can't! If they get rid of him, Thomas and all his friends will be gone! This is ridiculous! Accidents like this sometimes happen. It wasn't your fault. Yeah. It may not be in your eyes, but in the eyes of the public, it is. And that's the- I'm sorry, I don't even know if I want to keep watching. I don't even know if I want to keep watching, but I promise you guys I react to this series, so I'm going to keep going for you guys. But so far, I hate this. I hate this. The only opinion that matters, unfortunately. Yeah. Besides, even if it wasn't exactly 100% my fault, a good man died doing his job on my railway. I still don't think his I death was an accident. I don't think I can get over that, but it's over. Yeah. They're sending out an official investigation. I might as well resign if I'm going to be booted out. Now, don't you act like that. Yeah. Like I said before, it would be over my dead body for you to be removed. Yeah. You must fight for your rightful place. You must fight, especially for the engines. Yeah. Be realistic, Dad. We've had many major accidents on this railway. Yeah. And the board said today, if the trial wins in Grub's favor, I will most likely get the boot. What are you going to tell the engines? Yeah, what is he, what is he going to tell them? The truth. That uncertain times lay ahead. How are the engines going to react? Because this is steamies and diesels. All of them could be scrapped. Some even sent away. Engines, no doubt you were all aware of the tragic incident that occurred a few days ago. Chuck was a hard-working and friendly guard, and he was quite fond of all of you. I can't tell you how much it pains me that he died doing his job on my railway. But it wasn't your fault, sir. Unfortunately, regardless of whose fault it actually is, I am always the scapegoat. I am, after all, head of the railway. Yeah. I love my job, and you all mean the world to me. Yeah. But the truth is, especially after a not so great safety record, you may really? have to prepare yourselves. I will fight as hard as I can for this railway, this but it will be difficult. I'm to attend a hearing next week. Okay. Needless to say, the railway's future depends on it. Yeah. That filthy German bastard! Gordon, that's not helpful! Even okay, I, I didn't know that he was German. I'm German on my mom's side, so... That's kind of weird hearing that from Gordon. I mean... But he does have a point. I still believe that this, whoever this guy is, has something to do with it. He was, it's no, I don't think this, the guard's death was an accident. Like, yeah, he probably might have hit his head, but that would have given him a concussion, if anything. But I don't think that a simple accident like that could have killed him. Could it? I don't think so. I will I share, so. I fully agree with you. But anyway, that's all I needed to say. I hope I haven't failed this railway. Failed? You? What? Poppycock, sir. You may have had a few incidents, but let me tell you that you have you not at this? all failed us, and you never will. You uphold the hat legacy brilliantly. You've never cowered down in the face of adversity. You stand your ground. You put our welfare before anything else. 
I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting that from Diesel. I was ex maybe from Gordon or Henry or James or even Emily or Thomas. But from Diesel? That's something I wasn't expecting. I, I wasn't expecting that from Diesel. He's a devious engine. But just shows you how much he's changed in this series. It just shows you. I must admit, wow. I never expected those words to come from you, Diesel. Is it? You are truly reformed engine. That's incredible. Oh, well... Your father did give me another oh, chance. Oh, I gave it so much for the background. Gave me a second chance. That's why you have, and always will have, our support. We would rather melt in the scrappy than have you taken away from us. Here, here. song mm. oh here we go this court is now in here session. we go our case grub versus the northwestern railway plaintiff transportation safety advocate otto g grub <gasps> defendant sir richard topham i don't want to hear this fourth. guy the defendant may have the floor thank you your honor <sighs> well let's just say this railway has always had a bad safety record but lately, the amount of accidents is astounding. And the latest one resulted in an innocent man's death and severe damage to my back. Back damage? You're walking fine. You seem to walk in okay. Well, I got better. But anyway, it is abs- I meant to say he was standing pretty fine if he had a back injury. If he had a serious back injury, he wouldn't be standing now, would he? Again, what makes it- I'm still thinking he had something to do with it. I bet you he sabotaged it or something. I don't know. But this auto G, this auto G grub guy, I don't like him. Absolutely ridiculous that this railway that is why yes. I'm suing this that. man for gross negligence. Mr. Hat? Yeah, what is he going to say? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, I'm listening. Do you have anything to say to these allegations? Yeah. I most certainly do. First off, I will admit that the safety uh. record isn't as great as we'd hope. No. See? He even admits it! Silence, Grub. Nah. Like anyway, that. we've had a few incidents. I won't deny that. But in all the years I've worked here, we've had exactly one death. One. Yeah, a one death one. that could have easily been prevented. See, this is where Mr. Grub has got it wrong. Think back to those incidents. Mm -hmm. The boulder, yeah. Gordon's crash at Tidmouth, the collapse of the bridge to Brendam Flower Mill, yeah, etc. All of these incidents were cases of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Exactly! Gordon's crash was caused Ooh. by another engine breaking down on his line yeah. that forced him to be put into a siding where he couldn't stop in time. And the boulder incident? Yeah, maybe, I'm, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it isn't sabotage. Maybe it is just coincidence. Haven't you all forgotten that it was revealed that someone had trespassed and accidentally disturbed the boulder, uh -huh. causing it to run loose? Okay. That is not entirely true. It came loose again after you tried to move it with a helicopter. How else was I supposed to move a yeah. bloody boulder that size? All right, that's enough. Lawyers, do you have anything to contribute? Coming! Yes, sir, I do. Although, sir, Hat may not be technically on, responsible for the incident, he is responsible in the Come eyes on, of the Come on, I gotta make law. this video, Trooper, let's go! He's head of the railway, and thus, must make sure that it runs safely. There was obviously a fault in the signal system that caused this accident. All right, everybody, just give me one quick second. I do not like God OG Grab, though. I've just, I've already hate him. All right, everybody, I'm back. Let's continue. And it should have been caught if the system was inspected regularly. Our inspections are very thorough, let me tell you that. Well, yeah. Well, obviously not enough! Silence! Mr. Hatt's lawyer, you may continue. Thank you. Okay. As Sir Hatt clearly <sighs> stated before, Get ready for this bed. incident was most likely unavoidable. Okay. Looking through all the records, the signal system did pass the last inspection. Therefore, this negates any liability for Mr. Hatt. Okay. I'm afraid it does not. If anything, like I just said, it proves that the checks were not done properly. Either that or the driver wasn't telling the truth and was distracted. You already heard the driver and fireman's yeah. testimony. The driver, the fireman, and the engine, even a workman, all stated that the signal was green. That's four witnesses. Indeed. Sir yeah. Hat, do you have anything to say after hearing that? Well, 
I don't know what happened with that signal and why it had a fault after it had just been inspected. All I can say is that I have faith in my workmen, and those I don't have faith in I immediately discard of. Whatever caused this signal fault must have been a force we could never have predicted. Yeah. Had I known about this fault before the accident, I would have made sure it was fixed. You people act like I run this railway as some sort of joke. You think I don't give a damn about passenger safety? Bunch of bollocks! Yeah. I take these railway operations very seriously. The priority is, and always will be, the safety of the passengers. Wait until you hear the actual reports of the investigation before you make your own bloody thick-headed nonsense about Ooh. my railway. Yes, well, thank you for that speech, what? Sir Hat. And the investigation report will be revealed after the break. What do you think? Is it in our favor? See, why am I scared? It's hard to say, sir. Uh -oh. You brought up some very valid points, but all at the same time, so is Mr. Grubb. Okay. The reality is, the outcome of this trial depends on the investigator's findings. Okay. Then they should have revealed that information to me before the trial. Yeah, why did Don't you they? think? I don't know why they've withheld it. Yeah. But we'll all hear it today. Why did they hold on to it? What's going All right. on? Now then, wait a minute. Am I your right? Findings, investigator. Wait, wait, wait. Am I right? Is it what I think it is? If I'm right on what I think it is, I'm, I'm not gonna say because I want to see if I'm right. But if my theory of what I thought with the previous episodes is true, I'm gonna lose my mind. I shall indeed. Okay, let's go. We conducted a thorough investigation of this incident, okay. and we have come across some interesting findings. This was all withheld from the public because we felt that if they had the knowledge of these events, it could be quite dangerous. What? What? To sum things up, it was not just the signal, but the points as well. Huh? It was a combination of the points being in the wrong direction and the signal showing the wrong message. Well, obviously. That's why someone's now dead, and we're all here. Silence! I like that. Here's Silence. the thing, though. The nature of the fault was nothing like we had ever seen before. Okay. The signals and points are all electronic now these days. Yeah. If the points were jammed, then there will be a warning light at the signal box. Yeah. Based on the signalman's testimony, there wasn't one. Okay. To add to that, the signals are all automated. So if the train is stationary on the same line, within a certain distance, they will automatically go red. Based on several witness accounts, it most certainly was not red. Okay. To sum it up, the point stayed stuck, yet the signal remained green, despite there being a train ahead. But surely someone would have noticed earlier that the points were not working. There's tons of trains that run through there. That's a good point. Yeah. But after I've finished, it will make sense. Well, can we just... How do What's I put the this? This fault, the signal, uh -huh. the points, the uh -huh. accident, the death uh -huh. of the god, uh -huh. they were all deliberate. What? I beg your pardon. Wait, I was right? What utter nonsense! Was... That's ridiculous. Wait, 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 wait. Does this mean I was right? Was I right about being sabotage? I was just goofing. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was just goofing around, like, when I said it was sabotage. I mean, yeah, the death of the guard, I do believe that Auto G Grub might have something to do with that, but I was just messing around. I didn't think of. I might be right on this. <laughs> Ignoring the reason why someone would do that. How could they have timed it all up? Yeah. That seems like a lot of coincidences to rely on. I'll give you the simple answer. This person knew the timetable of the railway's operations. Of course. Who has knowledge of that? Oh, yes. Sir Topham Hat! It was him! Are you daft? I would never dream of something like that. Silence! <laughs> I like that. The evidence clearly indicates that Sir Hat is not the culprit. Show it to me! What this, is ladies and gentlemen, Sorry. is Kiana, the key. Remember to add in any we tasks found it you on the rails underneath listed. the impacted coaches as if it had slipped out of someone's bag. And I tell you, it is extremely good luck that it did. This reveals everything. As you can see, there are notes describing... Hang on, sorry, I just kind of want to pause this to read this. Express arrives at Timothy 10 a. 10, 10 a.m. Stays at five minutes. Freight train can we'll pass on the center track. Points we want, point 17. Um, Timmouth station is inactive from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. So, Very I was right. Very sinister plan. 
and it reveals exactly how it was carried out. First of all, as I said before, the person knew which trains would be rolling by at what time at Tidmouth. He then did something very clever. He went to the points and using some tools, he put a device into the points. Okay. Then, using the remote control, this device was able to jam them. Then, somehow, he altered the mechanism in the warning system so that no warnings would show up. But how do you know it was the same person from the yeah. book? What if some maniac wrote in his journal and by coincidence there happened to be a regular signal fault? Yeah. We have CCTV footage. Around 2.06 a.m., the security cameras all went black. Okay. All except one. All right, let's see. One he'd probably forgotten about, the single cam. Yeah, there's someone we there. He somehow hacked the security cameras and shut them all off, but obviously not all of them. Just one question, though. Who is he? Yeah. That, I'm afraid, we don't know. As you can see, he's wearing... Yeah, I can't tell who it is. I wish I could tell, honestly. Clothing that hides his identity, so it will be tricky to identify him. But what is clear, though, is that switch. whoever this is, he wanted to stage a fatal accident. And it doesn't end there. An inspection of the deceased I... god's body revealed... I'm sorry, I need to take a minute because I didn't think I was going to be right about this whole sabotage thing. Like, I was just joking. I was goofing around, like... Except for the, with the death of the guard and the auto G grub thing. Like, that, I just, I was just goofing around. Like, accidents happen on the train, but it's like, oh, uh, I can't believe I was right. I cannot believe I was right. Like, this is crazy. Like, it's got to be auto G grub. He wants to, to shut down the railway. He wants to, it's got to be auto G grub. He wants to shut down the railway. He wants to scrap all the engines to replace them with new ones. And he wants to make changes. So with this, why wouldn't it be him? Something that even further contributes to that. What's that? His injuries did not match those of the train crash. He had quite a blow to the head, but a very concentrated one, as if he was hit by a sharp object. There was nothing in that carriage that was sharp enough I to know. implement such damage like that. Therefore, we have a- I told you! I told you guys that his death was- I told you! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! See, now this, this this just makes my suspicion stronger. Auto G Grub was on the express when that happened. So, coincidence? I think not. He's using all this to shut Sir Tom Matt down. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's gotta be. Theory, a oh. theory that this god was struck with a pickaxe shortly before the crash. Yeah, by Auto G. He was murdered? Yes, sir. Our theory is that whoever orchestrated this horrible act wanted to make sure that this man was dead. They didn't want to risk him surviving the crash, so they took a precaution. Unfortunately, we have yet to determine who it was who killed him, but what is clear is that someone is trying to tarnish your railway's reputation. I knew it. You see, this book not only reveals this incident, but two earlier incidents as well. What are you talking about? This... The crash at Timoth last year what? and the boulder incident all have something in common. No. What? You don't mean. No! I'm afraid so, Topham. They were all orchestrated by someone. What? Look in this book. Here it reveals plans to insert a small engine. explosive into the engine of a diesel. This diesel was the same one that broke down at Tidmouth Bam! in March of last year. This so wait, wait, wait. There was an explosion inside of him? But he, he, he should have blown up. Unless it wasn't that strong of an explosive. I don't know. I don't know much about it. Diesel blocked the line, and thus, an express train was forced and into a siding into where it siding. could not stop. Fortunately, the shrapnels have been kept since then, Sorry, guys. and Get it was thought that the diesel had just ingested them somehow. But this notebook reveals that these shrapnels were once pieces of a small firecracker. It had been cleverly timed to explode right before the diesel reached Tidmouth and sent the shrapnels into the engine, causing the diesel to fail. Wait, how do you time a firecracker? I didn't know you could time firecrackers. How do you do that? That's incredible, but he must have put it in bear when he was sleeping. Any remaining evidence of an explosive was mind. all burnt up. 
We assume the small device was placed in the engine whilst the diesel was sleeping. Okay. And what about the boulder? Yeah. It what was revealed after the incident that someone had disturbed it, and they're right, but they didn't realize that it was disturbed on purpose. Yeah. They used explosive to get the boulder moving, but it rolled in the wrong direction towards the narrow gauge railway. Yeah. After that failed, it reveals something interesting. What's that? When the boulder was harnessed up to the helicopter, There's as it approached Croven's gate, according to this notebook, someone fired bullet. a large bullet from the ground and it struck the rope, weakening it. The bullet was never found, but the helicopter did report hearing a faint gunshot-like noise. What? what? This notebook was never intended for us to see. It was used as instructions for all these acts of sabotage, and whoever it belonged to is likely now feeling very stupid. Yeah. Sabotage? But who would sabotage by railway? Exactly. We shall conduct. I'm, I'm still thinking it's Auto G Grub. I don't find it a coincidence that this passenger died on the train, and Auto G Grub was there, and he said he had a back injury, and yet he's standing fine. I mean, my mom has a bit of a back injury um, from what happened to her in school from her knee and her lower back, and she is doing fine. Sorry, I'm just checking on Trooper to make sure he's okay. Okay, he's okay. I mean, hang on. I will vouch for this on this. Hang on. Hang on. I will vouch on this one. My mom can barely move as it is with her back injury. Mom, you have a back injury, right? Okay. Charlie, I'm in the You can't move, right? No. But you can't stand for more than a few minutes. Yes. See, there's my point. So Otto G. Grubb says he has a back injury, but yet he's standing for the whole trial. Coincidence? I think not. So I bet you Otto G. Grubb has something to do with this. A more thorough investigation, Mr. Hart. But it's basically, be him. I would like to say to you all that Mr. Hart is completely innocent here. Thank you. Here we All go, right, jury, crossed. what is your ruling? Mm -hmm. Our ruling is that these events revealed to us were entirely out of Sir Topham Hatt's yeah. control yeah. and were an act of a malicious yeah. sabotage. Yeah. Therefore, we find... I'm sorry, take that, Otto G. Grubb! Take that, take that! Oh, and the defendant yes. not guilty. Oh, you've got to be joking! Yes. Very well, yes. then, case dismissed. Congratulations, I knew we could yeah. do it. I couldn't have done it without you. But I now feel it doesn't matter anymore. No, it doesn't. Someone is attacking my railway. Again, I'm going with the other. That is a grave concern. I'm sure they'll find out who it is quickly. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Sir Topham. Congratulations on winning the trial. We've unanimously agreed to keep you in control. Thank you, sir. But of course, now there is even a bigger issue. What was revealed here is quite disturbing. We need to get to the bottom of it as soon as possible. Yeah. I fully agree. We will increase our security immediately. Well, to be honest, whoever did it must be in an extreme yeah. fright now, having yeah. been caught. Yeah. I don't think he'll be trying that anymore. That's the question, though. Yeah. Will he strike again? Uh -huh. Right now on this railway, we've got a phantom saboteur. And that's where the next episode comes in. Wait a minute, why are we at the diesel works? That's it, case is over. Okay, what am I looking at here? Well, we've been found out. Uh -oh. You better get out of here fast. No, it's time for no! real revenge. Up. Very well done. Fitkins. What? Okay, what? Fitkins? I thought he was arrested. He was a... Oh my goodness. What? What? Fitkins? Brush teeth. Fitkins. He's involved? I, I have no words. I have no words. Oh. But it makes me wonder if Otto G. Grubb hired somebody. I'm still going with Otto G. Grubb because it's not a coincidence that Otto G. Grubb, again, back injury. He's not able to move. You heard me talking to my mom. She has a back injury. She can barely stand for more than a few minutes. He stood for the whole trial. But Sitkins? Really? 
I I can't. I can't even. I I I'm going to lose my mind like Oh my goodness. Well, stay tuned tomorrow, guys. We'll be looking at Phantom Saboteur and the last one. I'm going to put the last two episodes into one video. So I'm excited. So that's all for today, guys. I cannot believe I was right on this whole sabotage thing. This is nuts. And I will see you all in the next video. This is KBear101 signing out. And I promise I'll figure out what's going on with the heck with these notifications. Because I've been turning them off. So I'll figure out what's going on. This is KBear101 signing out. Adios, everybody.